Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we tried our luck at Endless Mode yet again. We got into, well, the 8th level and took about an hour doing that, um, which is in my books, that's quite far. Quite far. We went through a lot of encounters, a lot of tough ones as well. The Double Golem encounter is ridiculously hard, especially if you are not able to face them on the big map. On the small map, those are impossible to do without taking damage, at least for me. Um, apart from that, we have gotten warmed up, so I'm gonna try my luck at the King of Plague now. I have saved much for this moment. The King of Plague. Wrath of Food in combat. On each counterattack, the player inflicts double damage and loses one food. No bonus or penalty on zero food. God, that's the that's the toughest curse there is in the game. Time distortion in combat. Everybody moves 20% faster and receives 50% additional damage from all sources. What? What am I gonna do with projectiles, man? Holy moly! What? Oh, that's not gonna end well, man. Uh, three times a winding trail, three times injury. Lore. Only the most savage and cunning of the Ratmen rise to royalty among their ranks. He has grown in the dark, surviving every challenge and feasting upon the bones of every single failure. I bet there was much failure going on with those kinds of curses around. I would not like to use a recommended deck. What do we have in here? That's all fun and dandy. Empress Jewel is not that good. Skeleton King's Shield haven't been able to try that out yet. Shield Breaker, who knows what that does. Enormous Shield. Depth of Night, Forbidden Armor, Immovable Object. Ah, oh, Plunderous Cap was real good. Mage Strike. This is all good. Bashing Ring, Plunderous Ring. I don't remember what that, that does. Ring of Justice have never used that to good effect. I have to... I have to work with the fact that I'm not gonna... Yeah, the Plunderous Cap is great considering I'm not gonna have much food to work with. Because every counter attack, and I'm gonna counter a couple of times, because I can't help muscle memory there. Every counter attack is gonna take health away from, uh, food away from me. What do I not want? I can live without shield breaker, and without mortal whimsy. Good lord! Mortal whimsy is a very, very high value sword, though. If I get it, I will definitely sell it. It's not a sword, by the way. Emperor's Jewel was not that good, was it? Fortitude's Breath is the one that keeps me from eating food every third step, which is nice. Armor of Cold is great. Mithril's great. Wilderness Armor, never been able to try that out yet. Helmet of Reflection is gonna have to go. Skull Cap of Prophecy. I had that equipped at one point, but I don't remember what it does. It was bad, though. Goblin King Crown. It's gonna go... Angel's Wing is not happening. We will move so fast. I need the defense. Consuming Shame, Berserker Ring, Disciples Ring, good lord, get rid of that. For the Plunderous Ring, I think that was good. 
I don't know what enlightenment does. I know what gluttony does. It's not that good. Justice. That's the thing. I have forgotten what most of the items do. The ones that I didn't care about anyways. Okay. King of Plague, Landlock, Lover, Charity 3 is going to stay in there. These are going to stay in there. I can't take out those. Lizard Dome, Twilight Ritual, good lord. Local Peasant, I can't give you food, lady. Ah, oh, the Crucible's going to be horrible if I have to fight it. Dead Man's Gorge. Desert of the Damned. I don't want that in there either. Holy Forge, a metal or can go. Lonely Bard. Lone Lovers, Ambertown Hero. Okay, fair enough. A wise fairy is always Jack of Dust, Queen of Dust. I think that's as hard as it'll get, but that's pretty hard. Elder Lizard. Help the locals. The tavern. Devil's Wager is not happening. That's too hard. Then again, that is a dead step. So if it's an easy one, I might as well take the fight. I can't. Dead King's Hall is really tough as well. But that's a huge map. Desert Cold was Sacrifice Health. Hmm. I don't know. We're gonna take the shop. Oh, what was the treasure chest again? I think that was just trapped. Okay. This is gonna take some tries. This is gonna... I am gonna try... have to try this off because of the counter the taking away food. To your normal tactics. In fact, he will make you work harder for less gain than ever. You didn't need to tell me that. Oh, that's what injury is. 30% health loss, or is that 30% max health loss? I don't even want to know, man. I don't. Oh, look at all those queens, man. Look at all those queens in there. So much destruction you have wrought. Once this is done and the Rat King chews upon your bones, it will be an age before I can find new pieces to face those who come to play. You sound kinda, you sound kinda, you know, unhappy. What's up? Oh my god. Well, I don't counter in this fight. Golem hunting party. Defeat this challenge three times in one session to remove it from your dick. Please be one golem, please be one golem, please be one golem. Uh-oh. Your path leads towards them, but they have not spotted you. Will you attack or try to go around them? Attack. Don't fail. I can't take failure right now. I can't. Nice. You charge into battle! Good idea. What map is it? It's the good one. It's the good map! Nice! Okay. Trap location. Hi. You exploded big time there, Mr. Gollum. Keep yourself under control. No! Wrong way to dodge. 24 damage? Ah, uh, 50% additional damage for everyone, but also faster combat. No! Haven't really seen much of that faster combat. Not 24. Oh! That was. How was that not the wrong way to dodge? I really enjoy what they're doing right now. Is he done? Nope. 
buddy. That was a really good one-on-one -on -one we had there. No! Four hits, what greed! No! Three hits, what greed! Literally! Okay. Oh! I didn't see that coming. Oh, that health loss was not good. That is 50% of my health just gone. I think that one trap and the one hit got me down this far. But did I get hit a third time at some point? I don't know. The loot's piles of rock and stones around you are a good start at teaching these creatures a lesson. Some local villagers give you food with thanks. Oh, it's right there. Thank you. Oh, didn't need that food anyways. There's a token in it for you. If you encounter a priest wandering along the road. He begs for food to feed the orphans. The gods show favor to those who help the less fortunate and give food to the priest. A worthy decision, the priest exclaims. How many young ones will see another summer due to your generosity? Oh, five. The priest humbly accepts your provisions. Let me see if I have anything in my sack with which to reward such generosity. Apparently not. Evidently not. Didn't see that. I didn't see that one. Ah, the priest exclaims and draws out a tarnished old ring. I'll have the kids polish it up first. In the meantime, take my blessing. The dealer draws you one game card. Draw one blessing. Retribution. Many of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. No, oh, this one is not one of those. Whenever the player is struck by a ranged attack, there is a chance that the attacker will be stunned for three seconds. Great. At least I get a new ring. Local peasant. While crossing a forest clearing, you meet a peasant woman. Greeting, stranger. The winter has been hard on my family this year. In the forest behind her, you sense movement. Yeah, that's not happening. Goodbye then, stranger. The woman says, waiting for you to move on. Sorry, woman. I don't have enough food to give away. Help the locals. Carlo, the barkeep of the landlocked lubber, has introduced you to the New Hollow Watch. They help protect a vast area of woods that have become home to many of the people displaced by the chaos of the land. They have many problems that you might be able to assist with. We're desperately short on gold. We use it to buy weapons and pay for repairs for raided caravans. Can you help us? Sure. You have our dearest thanks, and although I cannot offer you much now, the next time we meet, I'm sure we'll repay you twofold. Dang. Well, that's an investment into the future. In the future, I guess. Staircase. Seeking the heart of it all. Take the stairs, you embark upon the next leg of your adventure. At least these the staircases aren't, you know, protected by evil. I have been confident, perhaps complacent, yet these final opponents I assembled in ages past specifically to hold against the greatest challenges. You cannot possibly hope to defeat them. Well, maybe not right now after I've given away five food and twenty gold. You might be right about that. But in theory, if I try often enough, I'll eventually be able to do it. Don't you think? Don't you think? The Elder Lizard. The Elder Lizard awaits what you have to offer. Awaits what you have to offer her. Appearing emotionless, almost statuesque, her vault ab abounds with gold and finery that show no sign of affection from her. You appear to have nothing of interest for the Elder Lizard. Well, Elder Lizard, what do you want? Do you want metal? Because I put... I, that's the only thing I can think of right now. What's the Elder Lizard want? 
Hernie's antlers. No idea. Hmm. Boy. I know you want to tell me what the Elder Lizard wants, you know, but uh, this has been recorded on the 22nd of January and it's probably the day I upload. This is probably the end of February, so yeah, that's uh, that's not... I, I mean, I'm glad that you give me that information, but it's pre-recorded, so I'm sorry, but I will already have figured it out or given up on it by now. Traveling Jeweler. In the shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Jewelers specialize in selling artifacts and rings. Such an exclusive market demands high prices. Approach. Greetings, wise traveler. I have rings to offer you. Do you, though? Do you? And if so, what rings? Is it the bashing ring, mayhaps? Uh, the, the rage ring, I, I meant. Plunderer's Ring. With every gain card the player receives plus one gold and plus two health. Nice. That's what that was. A cold ring. Dope thing. The player inflicts three additional damage for every curse they have. Ring of Enlightenment. The player sells this ring plus 50 gold per blessing and then the blessings are lost. And there's the Berserker Ring. Every six kills the player makes in a single combat they receive plus 30 health. That's the best ring in the game. Wow. Wow, that's strong. Like, every encounter at this point has six enemies, except for the go golem ones, except for boss encounters. Like, that's the best ring in the game right there. Wow. Yeah, want that. Uh, killing streak is not worth that much. Merchant's ring, not worth that much. 33 gold is what I need? Okay, that's not working then. Oh, I could get rid of that. Then we have 33. For the best ring in the game? Sure. That is unbeatable. The hood and the axe. They appear everywhere that man turns against man in the name of justice. Oh, no. What food deals do you have? I should have probably invested in food. Oh, the greed. I don't want to sell any other, you know, equipment stuff that I have. We're probably going to get into an encounter. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Eric, no, no. Eric, no. No, you can't. Oh, God. What am I going to do? I'm going to die right now. It's been 18 minutes. It's a worthwhile episode. I'm kind of peckish. I would, you know, eat if I died here. Oh, God. Win this and you discover it. another of the Goblin King's treasure vaults. Will you try a luck at plundering his wealth once more? Sure. You boldly enter the vault! And I'm prob oh, no, it's also 20% additional speed to all the traps. Are you nuts? Is it the easy one? I have never seen this one. Up, oh, there's nothing easy. What is that? Ow! Oh! Gosh, oh, could have seen that coming. Is that it? Okay, we lived. Although I don't know how I would have gotten over there. You exit the vault and continue your journey. Okay, okay. Everyone's happy except for me. Ah, oh, Dead Man's Gorge. While crossing the ancient road bridges of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush. The tenacity to rise from the grave after death makes for foes that will not rest easy after defeat. Um, I'm calling bullshit on this. I don't have even, you know, the... I don't have a way of winning this. 
there is no way I'm gonna win this. By the way, if you don't remember, I can't parry because I'm gonna lose food in the process, so... Uh... Yeah, that's great. Ow! Okay, that's a hit. Queen of Skulls is not happy about any part of this. You heal your men, you do that. Can he heal himself? I don't remember. I don't know what that... Ow! 19 health remaining. Nope! Ow! You poke me with your... Blunt weapon. Come on, hit the queen, hit the queen, hit the queen big time. Did she die? She appears to be dead. Okay, that's one bandit deaded. What? I was outside of the range! I was outside of the range. Okay, okay. Well, fair enough. The hitbox is bigger than it appears to be. That's that's fine. That's fine. That is uh, for donating food for the orphans you receive. Gain 25 health. That's good. Holy ring. And charity 4. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I, I'm... An, you probably expected this outcome, but I didn't expect to get to fight the Queen of Skulls and the King of Dust. Honestly, didn't expect to get that encounter. Especially not with being... <laughs> with not being able to parry the projectiles. That's just... Wow. But at least they kind of murdered each other. I didn't get many hits in there because the King of Dust pretty much took care of everything with his boulders. And the Queen of Skulls did, took, well, did quite a bit of damage with her poisonous grenade. That was, that was good. Right now I was not being, I was not joking about being peckish. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to eat something now. I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. We're going to be, we're going to be going against the King of Plague and we're going to win at some point because I'm pretty good at this game by now. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you then. Bye-bye.